Well, happening now, one man is dead after a shooting involving Bernalillo County deputies. This is happening in the South Valley. Multiple police agencies were investigating that. The scene now clear, though. Reporter Julian Paras is on the ground where it all happened on Griffin Road near Coors and Don Felipe. Julian, what have we learned so far? Say, hey, Sasha, so from what we understand, uh, Bernalillo County Sheriff deputies uh, responded to this area for a welfare check sometime before 10 a.m. this morning. The spokesperson for the department telling us when deputies arrived, they were confronted by a man holding a knife. It was then one of the deputies uh, uh, fired their gun shooting this person. Now, other than uh, understanding that the identity of this person was a male. There is no other uh, information about the identity of this individual. Now, while we've been here, there was a pile of cars earlier and a ton of vehicles showed up. Angelina Navarro with BCSO explained why this scene became a bit hectic earlier today. Can you explain to the departments that are all here right now with how many cars are located clearly behind you? Yes, whenever there's a deputy involved shootings, there's multi agencies that are involved in the investigation. So obviously BCSO, APD and state police as well are on the scene. Now, officials also say they are currently in the preliminary stages of this investigation. I want to throw this in real quick before I throw it back to you. I had the chance to speak with the family. They were here right before we started going live on the scene with units in the area. They mentioned they are uh, a little frustrated with what has been going on. Uh, the man telling me he was uh, he is the father of this person that was shot and he is trying to figure out as much uh, as well as the rest of the family as uh, what happened. Uh, so we are trying to talk to them and see if we can find out more information. In the meantime, we are also working to learn more more about uh, the case, the reason for this welfare check, and um, uh, uh, to have more information later tonight, uh, tonight at 10 on KOAT. Live in the area, Julian Paras, KOAT, Action 7 News. Julian, thank you. BCSO says at this time there is no longer a threat in that area, and no deputies were injured during that shooting.